scenery is beautiful down here. The drive is beautiful. High in the mountains of Teller County, Cripple Creek serves as the county seat. They found uh, gold here in the 1890s. Gold mining put this city on the map. So we still have an active gold mine. Uh, right behind me here on the hillside. City Administrator Mark Campbell shows us how today an abundance of casinos, historic buildings and museums keep visitors entertained. Yep, we're, we're known for a, a little getaway from the springs. Among the many century old buildings in Cripple Creek stands the Teller County Courthouse, where on Friday the trial against the man accused of killing Kelsey Barrett will begin. Oh yeah, it's been the talk of the, it's been talk of the area really for about a year. Rick Langenberg, who just had throat surgery, is the editor of the Mountain Jackpot newspaper and covers Teller County. County. He says few cases can compare to the upcoming trial, but one sticks out the extradition hearings of the Texas Seven gang members who escaped jail and were caught hiding out in Teller County about two decades ago. It was unbelievable. This area was just blooded with media from all over the country. Patrick Frazee's trial will bring the attention back to Cripple Creek again. The mountain jackpot dubbed it the trial of the century, but some locals want people to remember Cripple Creek is just the host. You know, as we are the county seat. You know, the trial is taking place here, but then the crime didn't take place here. And after this trial ends, they'll still be the historic mining town they've always been. Jennifer Meckles, Nine News. Jennifer's been covering this trial for some time now. Nine News does have a crew in Teller County covering the trial throughout the opening statements now scheduled to begin tomorrow afternoon.